God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. God is not a man that he should lie. Everything God has told you in your lifetime, you will see it come to pass. Let me shake unbelief. Everything God has told you, provided your spirit received it in your lifetime, you will see it come to pass. Everything God has told you, I'm prophesying to you that in your lifetime, my God will make you see it come to pass. If he says you are lifted in your lifetime, you will see yourself lifted. If he says you will laugh in your lifetime, you will laugh. Do you believe this? When God speaks, he speaks because there is an ability behind his word that compels what he has said to come to pass. Hallelujah. If you ever hear God utter a word as a revealed word to you in your spirit or on the strength of the, an encounter with scripture, you must know that at the back of all the speakings of God is the power to bring it to pass. It says, blessed is she that believes for unto her, it does not just stop at believing, there shall be a performance, not of everything, but of those things that were spoken by the mouth of the Lord. Hallelujah. Tonight I want to encourage you, it's an unusual service, shake away unbelief. Don't come and waste your time spectating. Don't come and waste your time doubting, will God touch me, will he visit me? And don't just come to clap for others, as wonderful as that is. Let there be an insistence, a holy anger and a determination. Lord, something must happen to my life today. Lift your voice and pray. Something must happen to my destiny today. Someone who is serious with God, pray. Someone who is determined to leave this place rejoicing, pray. Someone who is angry at the reign of darkness over your life, pray. Said is he who comes in the name of our God. Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Oh 
There is a river that is flowing in this place tonight. I saw this vision while I was praying. Now I'm seeing the vision again. It's a river that was in Ezekiel 47 flowing from the east side of the temple, flowing to destinies, flowing to lives, flowing to businesses. The river that flows from the throne bringing life to everything that has died bringing life to every dead organ bringing life to every dead cell bringing life to every dead business bringing life to every dead destiny hear ye the word of the lord that which was dead comes alive now 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 dead organs they come alive now dead businesses they come alive now dead destinies they come alive now Dead prayer lives, dead passion for the things of God. Hallelujah. presence of God is mighty even in this place you are not wasting your time immersed in his presence immersed in his glory that is where miracles happen that is where signs and wonders happen that is where transformation encounters happen let the weight of your glory fall let it cover all the earth Let the weight of your glory fall It's our prayer tonight Let it cover all the earth ah. Let it cover all the earth Let it cover all the earth Let it cover all the earth. Let the way 
upon your life when that glory rests upon your destiny when that glory rests upon your ministry all that will be left is beauty and grace and power supernatural manifestations that's what happens when the glory comes that's what happens when the glory rests upon you let it cover all the earth. 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 Let it cover all. If you're here and you're using a stretcher or you're using a walking stick, you cannot walk. Stand up and begin to walk now. Stand up and begin to walk now. Shabalako Satabasadesh. Begin to do what you could not do now. Begin to do what you could not do now. Begin to do what you could not do now. Begin to do what you could not do now. There's someone you could not move your hands. It's like you had a problem. I want you to begin to move those hands now. Move your hand. Do what you could not do. The healing power of Jesus is already touching people. Touching people. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing someone you are following online. You have a problem with your neck. I don't know it's like you have the neck bracelets in the name of Jesus begin to turn it left and right left and right the power of God is upon you right now in the name of Jesus Christ 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 now i want you to bring out before we sit down all those that the power of god will come on now i will tell you what the impartation is for and then that grace will rest upon them and then will be seated this is holy ground and if you come here you must come believing you must come expecting hallelujah whilst the worship team were singing about restoration I had loud in my spirit and I will restore and I will restore now I know that this applies to everybody but there are specific families that God wants to visit right now and the power of God will come on them I want you to bring them out right now in the name of Jesus every family that has been ordained for restoration by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare, may that grace rest upon you now. Please bring them out very quickly. In the name of Jesus Christ, let that grace rest upon you, representing your family. Representing your family. Every family that has been tied down. You have lost things, you have lost people, you have lost opportunities. I bring you the restoring power of Jesus. The restoring power of Jesus. The restoring power from the front to the back. Whether you are an usher or not, please help them. In the name of Jesus, I bring you restoration. Even as revealed by the Spirit of the living God. Restoration, restoration, restoration. Come up and sing for me that song you sang on restoration. The song you just sang now, where's Tosin? That song singing on restoration. Restore everything that was lost. Restore. That's the grace that is resting upon you now. Everything that was lost. Restore. Everything that was lost. Restore. to 
don't sing it I'm still praying in the name of Jesus every manipulation on the times of your destiny such that time has gone and you've not been able to achieve anything I place a mantle upon you tonight take that grace may that anointing rest upon you restoration 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 receive it in the name of Jesus Everything that was lost, restore. Everything that was stolen, restore. Everything that was lost, restore. You will restore. Yes, restore. Jesus, we know everything. I'm hearing in my spirit the time has come I don't know I don't know who this word is for but there is an anointing that is coming with this word I'm seeing the number 13 the Lord is saying the time has come receive that grace bring them out receive that grace the time has come it will not be delayed again the time has come the season has come the time has come the season has come by the spirit of the living God the time has come the Bible says to appoint unto them that morning Zion I prophesy to you as by the spirit the time has come the time has come the time has come the time has come, time has come. in the name of Jesus for someone is the time for laughter for someone is the time for resurrection for someone is the time for advancement but by all means i speak to your spirit the time has come in the name of jesus christ the bible says john remain in the wilderness until his season of appearing when your time has come it also means every closed door must open please be serious tonight let your heart be open in the name of jesus anyone under the sound of my voice for as long as you are connected here in the name of jesus if there is a door that has been closed by witchcraft hear me close by the manipulations of men in the name of Jesus, that door opens now. 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 Hallelujah. Seven. And I'm seeing fire coming on their hands physically. Physically. And the Lord is telling me, for some of you by this impartation, jobs, even jobs you did not apply for. Your hand is a symbol of productivity. Right now, eight of them. I don't know where you are. May that fire locate your hands. Locate your hands in the name of Jesus. Compelling productivity. Compelling productivity. Compelling productivity. Compelling productivity. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. All this, my footballer friends, come. Your lifting has come. 
Listen to me. Listen to me. You see, I want, I want, let me have your attention. Do you know why I'm praying for you? I'm not praying for you because you are lifting your football boots up. And I'm not lifting, praying for you because you like football. No. We're in a season where God is releasing envoys and sending people across strategic places. Listen to me. The purpose of the lifting of the saints is not just for fame. The purpose of the lifting of the saints is not just for noise. Are we together? There are many of you as ordinary as you are because in addition to your skill, you have recognized that there is a grace that comes upon men. I want to release something upon your life. You will marvel. You don't have to kneel. Father, these gentlemen have come. They want to go to the sports in the name of Jesus. The apostolic has the mandate. An anointing will come on you now. And by this anointing, may you go to the nations. Are you ready? At the count of three. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that anointing now. In the name of Jesus Christ. May that anointing take you to the nations. May that anointing take you to the nations. You will become voices in the area of sports. You will love Jesus and you will serve him. You will bring many to the fold in the name of Jesus Christ. And hear me. I want you to believe that what has come upon you tonight will truly change your life forever. <laughs> Hallelujah. You believe this? This is more than just excelling in career. You are a footballer. Bring this small boy up for me. Look at this. Look at the little boy. Come. And his small. What? Don't just bring these children. Don't waste our time, oh, please. I hope the children know what we are doing. If you are a parent here and we call a case, make sure your child is aware of what we are doing, please. You are a footballer. Who brought this child? Who is a parent? Parents, where are you? You are his sister. He's a footballer. How old is he? He's eight years. What's his name? Huh? Derek. Ota Derek. What's Ota Derek. You want to play football? You love Jesus? You too, you want to play football? Huh? Who brought these ones? They, do they want to play football? <laughs> Don't give your parents heart attack. Oh. Some of your parents are planning to have uh, doctors and engineers. That doesn't mean that football is not good. Who brought this child? Your, your son? You are, you're the father? Yeah, yeah. He wants to play football. Oh, you are the parents. Oh, you are aware that the children are here. That's just what I needed to verify. Listen, do you know when children love God and seek Him at this age, it is beyond holding the football boots. It's a miracle. I pray that God will bless you. I pray that God will bless you. And my footballer friend, may God take you high. You will play for the king. In the name of Jesus. Every one of you will come back and testify here. In Jesus' name I pray. Return back to your seat rejoicing. God bless you. No shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. No wall you won't kick down, why you won't take down, coming after me. No shadow you won't light up, no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. No wall you won't kick down, no wall you won't kick down. Hallelujah. Praise the 
praise the name of the Lord. Welcome to our miracle service for the month of July. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is already moving in the midst of his people. Who is Silas? Who is Silas? You're by the name Silas. This person, it looks from my vision, it's like you're not even inside this auditorium. Silas. Who is that? I just heard the name Silas. I want to speak over your life and then we'll be seated. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying for Silas, yet it's a lazy voice I'm hearing shouting under the anointing. Is it strange how these spiritual things happen? I'm praying for these people, yet in the spirit, the sound I'm hearing is the voice of a lady shouting under the anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you, Silas, by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord is giving you strange access. Strange access. Listen to what I'm saying. God will give you access to people. God will give you access to opportunities. Let the grace rest upon you right now. We are going to pray. It will be such an extraordinary move of the spirit in this place. Listen, the most important role that you have to play tonight is to reach by faith. There is a buffet. The table of his majesty is prepared and set before you for all kinds of healing, financial healing, emotional healing, spiritual healing, restoration of fire, honor, dignity, favor. You are tired of the workings of darkness in your life. In the next one minute, I'd like you to pray from the depth of your heart and make up your mind. Say, Lord, tonight is my night. Like the woman with the issue of blood, you came as a family, agree as a family. You came as an individual, agree as an individual. You came as a business, agree. Come on, lift your voice and pray. Talk to the God of heaven. hallelujah there is such a mighty anointing of the spirit here please listen you are going to pray one prayer lord in this miracle service everything must walk in my life must walk in my life open your mouth and pray everything everything must produce results everything shalandegapata must produce results someone is praying everything Everything. Shabra gete bagatos kate prende gete balata. Everything must produce in my life by the power of the Holy Spirit. Everything that left heaven for my sake must land upon my destiny this night. Favor, increase, healing, restoration.
If I may but touch the hem of his garment, this issue can come to an end. I know. If I can but touch the hem of his garment, he can come to me as the wisdom of God. He can come to me as the power of God. Pray one more minute. You're not wasting your time. You're releasing your faith. God is still in the business of lifting. He's still in the business of making. He's still in the business of empowering. He's still in the business of signs and wonders. hallelujah you're going to shout jesus once and I want you to start bringing the people out, please. The power of God is ready to move. What we're going to do is going to be a quick walk. Let your faith be open. Let, let your heart be open. Let your faith be alive. Jesus is visiting his people. I want to take time and really pray for the sick. But then I need to minister right now very quickly as the Holy Spirit is leading me. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. Please help the ushers. There are several people the ushers are trained but no matter how many they can be limited so if someone is under the anointing close to you please do well to bring them out here that name that is above every other name listen as you shout that name there are certain people in this place that the doors that have been closed making things to not work in their life you have done the best you know to do and doors don't seem to be opening when a door opens all that is left is advancement you can walk through i'm about to pray for you right now the power of god is coming mightily upon you at the count of three one two three shout jesus in the name of jesus doors open doors open 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 that they go forward open bring them out we unlock the doors by prophecy we unlock the doors by prophecy we unlock the doors pray we unlock the doors please bring them out quickly we unlock the doors by the power that raised christ from the dead Doors. Many of you will be surprised what is happening to you. I say it again. Doors by the key of David that can open a door that no man can shut and shut a door that no man can open. Every door that has been shut over your destiny, shut over your life. A father, that door is open now. That door is open now. The door of advancement. A father. Be open now. Be open now. God is opening doors. In the name of Jesus. That every door that stands before me. That should be open. I declare it open. By the key of David that is able to open a door that no man can shut. Bring them up. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray. The power of God is coming on many people. 
and it's a it's an anointing for restoration hear me when that anointing comes on your life you will be surprised that things that should have happened starts chasing you to look for you again for some of you by that anointing you will be surprised that relationships opportunities will return by the power of the holy spirit at the count of three may that restoration mantle wherever you are one two three shout jesus take that anointing take that anointing strength restoration in ministry restoration of your dignity restoration of honor restoration everything that used to walk that no longer walks i command that mantle to fall on you that grace for restoration and i will restore and i will restore and i will restore i'm still praying it again this anointing is coming on many people let there be restoration now son of man can these bones leave it says only thou knowest son of man can this family leave son of man can this ministry leave again son of man can this man of god leave again but i prophesy to you may that anointing come upon you now some of you were seated in the place of honor and something happened in your life and brought you down i command may that anointing take you back to that place may this restoration mantle let it take you back to your place of honor restore 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 we are still speaking restoration lord restore 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 hear me please look up for some of you when the devil attacked you and brought you down he put someone to occupy your place in the name of jesus we dislodge them now anyone sitting on your glory Apareketa, sitting on your job, sitting on your honor, sitting on your sacrifice by prophecy, I dislodge them now. Restore everything that I've lost. Restore. In the name of Jesus, restore. Hallelujah. I'm feeling fire in my left hand and I'm wondering what this is for. There are many of you like physical fire. You will begin to feel it on both of your hands. It's a strange anointing that God is placing on you right now as I'm speaking all over the congregation shabradikata is is a kind of anointing this thing is a ministerial grace is a gift of the spirit that god is granting you man of god prophet of god apostle pastor it's time to carry that grace there is an anointing upon your hands you will walk wonders with it bring them out that anointing is resting upon you I feel fire upon my hands for some of you is a healing anointing some of you is a breakthrough anointing let it come let it come let it come in the name of Jesus let it come Alebaranda Gabaratoskadia your hands will no longer be ordinary hands your hands will no longer be ordinary hands in the name of jesus hear me this fire is coming upon you it's a grace for multiplication it's not just a healing anointing alone i'm saying it again everyone here who cannot multiply what god gives you that anything he gives you remains at that level 
I release the grace for multiplication. I release the grace for multiplication. Hallelujah. Now listen. This next prayer is for everybody. But please, let me beseech you by the message of God. You are going to be receiving while you look at your neighbor so that we manage the things that can happen here. Are we together now? When God vows to open a door, woe betides the man that stands behind that door. You see, I have taught you here that there are three ways of opening doors. I don't know who I'm prophesying to, but I, as I said this, I just sensed an anointing that there are certain doors that have refused to open. And those doors can be men. They have refused to open. He is called the father of spirits. Listen, there are three ways to open doors. The use of correct keys, number one, by knocking through relationships, number two, but the use of force. The Bible says at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed. They sang loud enough for the jailers to hear them. And suddenly there was an earthquake. It rattled the foundation of the prison. And the Bible says immediately, all doors, how many doors? Financial doors, relational doors, all doors, career doors, all doors open. Turn it into prayer. Lord, open doors for me. Open doors for me. Let it be clear that I met you. Come on, pray. While you are seated, pray. Open doors for me. You can open doors. Career doors. I have been stagnated. Open doors for me. If I depend on men, shame will be my lot. But my God and my King, you are able to open doors. Outside, pray. Inside, pray. Open doors for me. You're not a man, oh. You're not a man, oh. Keep praying. You're the God who opens doors no man can shut. You're not a man, oh. You're not a man, oh. You're the God of everything. No one like you. No one like you. Jesus, no one like you, no one like you, is there no one like you, no one like you, Father, no one like you, Master, you're the God of everything. Someone is praying, doors are opening. No one like you, Jesus, no one like you. No one like you is no one like you. No one like you. No one like you. Open doors, oh God. You're the God of everything. No one like you. You're not a man, oh. You're not a man, oh. You're the God who opens doors no man can shut. You're not a man, oh. You're not a man, oh. You're the God of everything. Listen. Please listen to me. Listen to me. Sometimes doors do not come close because it is an attack it comes close because it is a new realm when you buy new things they are sealed they are not sealed to hurt you they are sealed as a sign of authenticity that no one has gotten this there are if you buy a drink and it's open sometimes they tell you if this product has been tampered with return it back because it means it's not new there are certain closed doors now it's not an attack it's because no one in your family has entered before you are the first who will be opening that door. Who am I prophesying to? In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, I call upon he who has the key of David, 
the one who opens a door that no man can shut and shuts a door every door that has been closed over your career over your life over your destiny i declare a father be open 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 be open be open doors of strategic relationships be open doors of strategic finances be open the treasures of darkness the hidden riches of secret places be open doors of career be open doors of destiny help us be open in the name of Jesus someone shout open shout open shout open shout open listen to me please don't be distracted something is happening in this place look at me every city you see has gates in the spirit and doors in the spirit just because you are there does not mean the gates are open now you see if you grew up in the north or you have had encounters with the north you will know that when you are entering most of the northern states you will see like city gates am i right on that sometimes there are no doors until you pass that most of the people believe that you have not entered that city you will see maybe welcome to kano or welcome to whatever those gates it was an ancient principle there are many people who are in abuja here but in the spirit you are not yet in abuja so you cannot eat of that which belongs to those who are here are you ready for gates to open and doors to open listen i have seen territories where the inhabitants never eat of the blessings of the land it is only strangers that eat of it i have seen families where the children never eat of the blessings of the land it is strangers that eat of it we are going to pray that prayer there's an anointing on these open doors open God has opened some doors in my life as a person and as a man of God and I know the benefit. Ten years can be compressed in one month under an open door. I am telling you. Are you ready to pray? Say Father. Shout it. Say Father. In the name of Jesus. Strategic doors in this season that I must enter. I declare them open now open your mouth and begin to pray i declare them open everyone pray be serious online pray u.s pray canada pray kenya pray south africa pray ghana pray lagos pray every door strategic doors relational doors financial doors spiritual doors Abraga baka barakatash, lega prate ke barakatos, ke prate ke baka barokatos. Take a minute to pray. All doors open in this season. All doors open in this season. Open of your own accord. Open unto me. Open for a new season. Open for greater influence. Open for greater kingdom impact. All doors open. Strategic doors open. Relational doors open. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Be seated for one minute. Be seated for one minute. My God, fire is burning in this place. Be seated in this place. This testimony of open doors, you will see how many people will come and stand here. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you what happens when a door opens. There is no restraint again. 
An open door means access to the next level. All the rooms in a house are separated by doors. Just because you are in a house does not mean you will enjoy every provision in that house. You can be in the living room, but the door that leads to the kitchen is closed. And if it does not open when you are hungry, you will be in the house and be dying of hunger. The door to the restroom can be closed. When you are pressed and you need to ease yourself and that door is not open, it brings discomfort. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I want you to bring all those that the power of God will rest on them now. Whilst you are seated. Whilst you are seated. Whilst you are seated. I want to make a declaration. This is not just for individuals. All these people are representing families. I'm seeing in the spirit. Families tied down by chains. Doors that have closed over them. This is what God is revealing to me. I want you to bring them out. Every family here. Not just, you are individuals but you are representing families. No one has been able to go forward. There is an embargo that has sat upon families. In the name of Jesus Christ. I call upon El Shaddai. I call upon the warrior. Whilst you are seated. Anyone here. Under territorial closed doors. That have tied you down. Tied your family down. Right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let it descend upon that family now. Let it descend upon that family now. Descend upon that family now. Descend upon that family now. Bring them out. Descend upon that family now. In the name of Jesus. Descend upon that family now. My God. In the name of Jesus. He has broken the gates of brass. And cut the bars of iron in sunder. Tied by witchcraft. Tied by ancestry. Tied by bloodline. In the name that is above all names. I say it again. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. You and your family. Be delivered now. The Lord is ministering to me. That there are a number of you here. An anointing is coming on you. It's a barrier breaking anointing. Something that has never been done in your family. You have seen it in your visions. You are the one ordained to do it. I don't know how many of those people are there. But let that anointing rest on you now. Bring them out. The anointing of a savior. The anointing of a breaker. The anointing of a warrior. In the name of Jesus. Dimensions in the spirit that have never been crossed in your family. May you cross it now. Levels of wealth that have never been attained by your family. Step into it now. Step into it now. Step into it now. Hallelujah. Listen. When angel Gabriel came to Zechariah and said you will have a son Zechariah wanted to prophesy something else and he shut his lips and then when they were about to call him John they said no you can't call him John nobody from this lineage has ever carried that name John nobody from this lineage has ever been called prosperous nobody from this lineage has ever been called anointed nobody from this lineage has ever been called a genuine christian nobody from this lineage has ever crossed primary school secondary school nobody from this lineage has even gone outside nigeria i stand by the anointing by the god who sent me anyone here who has been tied down pegged down that you and your family cannot go forward i prophesy to you go forward now go forward now Go forward, Go forward now. Go forward now. Go forward now. Go forward now. Alenda kapara sata kepa lako sabash. Rabada kapara kosiata. Go forward. Go forward in ministry. Go forward in ministry. Anointed but under closed heavens. Go forward. I release you go forward go forward in career 10 years without promotion 15 years without promotion go forward now hallelujah listen listen 
I'm hearing in my spirit Jubilee. Let me tell you what Jubilee is. Jubilee is an exodus after many years of captivity. Please listen. Listen, we're praying. We're praying. There is the spirit of Laban. Is the spirit that never allows men to go. It will encourage you with something to keep you small. But it will never allow you go and have your own space. It's a spirit that fights increase. When Laban saw Rachel, he liked her. And he wanted to marry her. But Jacob knew that if he marries her, he will go away. And he trapped her down. He trapped him down. And the man kept serving. When it was time to carry his wife, they exchanged the wife for Leah. And the man stayed again many years. The spirit of Laban. You won't suffer, but you won't rise. That is the spirit of Laban. You won't beg, but you can't give. Because you are barely enough. I pray for you. Any house you have found yourself, physically and in the spirit, that is tying you down, not allowing you to rise to live destiny. Tonight, I declare Jubilee. I declare Jubilee. I declare Jubilee. I declare Jubilee. Be released to go forward. Be released to make progress. Be released to make progress. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for watching this powerful video. I hope you were blessed. Do well to keep praying. Keep being prayerful. God bless you. Share these prayers with your family and friends. And God will bless you. See you in our next video. Bye for now.